so the word came to me said, you shall not die, but you shall live and Come declare on, the works of the Lord. Lord. He says, but God cannot give me the spirit of fear, but that of power, love, and a sound mind. Yes. Yes. That word comforted me. I knew I was going to live before a doctor saw me. Before anybody diagnosed me with anything, I knew I was going to live. Yes. Because God confirmed that I was going to live. Amen. Yes. Yes. I laid on the ground for about 10 minutes. And you know, the devil, the enemy, he tries to accuse you. So you're going to die. Yes, yes. You're going to be messed up. You're going to be torn up. Yes. I kept fighting the enemy with the word. Yeah. I kept on fighting with the word. Yes, Lord. And so, as I laid on the ground, there was a young man, a Hispanic young man, who came. And he came and hurt me yelling for help. Now, this young man, he lived a block away. And he heard me yell for help. And so, so he, he comes over and he recognizes who, who I am. He says, he was shocked to see me on the ground. Shocked. He says, you, you, know, you the man I see go to church all the time. I said, I said, right now, you don't worry about that. Right now, I need you to call the police and the paramedics. Now, I, I was, here's a great thing about it. I was so calm the whole way through. I, I, I didn't get it. And I didn't get scared. I had a peace that surpasses all of us. And so I said, I need you to call the paramedics and the police. And after you do that, I'll just call my parents, let them know what happened. Okay. Now, God did not allow me to pass out. He, I had my right mind. Yes. And so, finally, I, I, the police room came, and, and the paramedics came to, to the hospital. And the great thing about it was, my parents met me there. And so, I went through a five-hour surgery. And while I woke up from that surgery, I had five doctors looking over me in amazement. They were kind of had a look of shock. Now I remember this doctor says, Mr. Martin. He told me his name, I can't remember his name. He told me his name, he says, I can't explain this to you medically or scientifically. He says, when the bullet hits your body, come on. First of all, I want to let you know you were shot by a 12 gauge sawed off shot and four feet away. The reason why we know that is because we pulled the metal, I mean the plastic wrap, out of your body, the bullet hole out your body. Yes. Come on. And you were shot four feet away by that gun. And we cannot explain this. He says, but when the bullet hits your body, he says your muscles absorb the bullet, stop it in its tracks. Then now, not one pellet to spread out my body. Not one ounce of blood. Not one ounce of blood. To God be the glory, amen. Amen. Come on. We can see those doctors trying to figure things out. It was like they could not figure out what was going on. They never seen like this before. Doctor even showed me some x-rays of people that got shot in the same area and died in less than a minute. It made no sense to them. It says, Mr. Martin, well, we can't explain this, but you might be fully recovered. The only thing you might have as proof that this happened to you, you might have a little, a little scar on your stomach. Come on, Lana. Well, we can't explain this. Yes. We're going to put this down on the records. We're going to, this will be one of those miracles. Yes. My Lord. Yes. 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 So this is amazing. I stayed in the hospital for a month. I recovered, stayed in the hospital. And so, what I did, I took my father, he was taking me home from the hospital. And I took my father to take me back to where I got shot. Because I'm very competitive. Hmm. See, I left, on the, I left there laying on the ground, but I'm going to come back standing up. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's what I'm going to come back for, amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So we went to where I got shot. And, uh, and we were walking around, I was telling my dad what happened. And the Hispanic young man that came and helped me out was there with his family, of course, he was there. She runs up to me and says, George, he couldn't believe what he saw me walking around. Yes, yeah. Yeah, he says, says, George, could you please show me where you got shot? Yeah. And I said, God bless you for helping me out, brother, but that's kind of personal. <laughs> but the young man, as I was talking to him, he lifted his shirt up. My and he had a cut from the from the top of his throat My down God. to the bottom of his stomach. My he God. says, George, 
I'm an ex game baby. Says I was shot nine times. They don't know the gun on me. I used to, I used to hate African American men. He says I was shot nine times. They don't know the gun on me. Left me for dead. I was in a coma for three months. He says after seeing you, he says I'm not religious. He says, I ain't been to church in, in years. My God. But see, seeing you yes. lets me know that so I understand that God saved me yes. for a reason. Yes. He saved me to save you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Glory, Amen. glory, glory, glory. Yes. It's dynamic because he lived a block away from me. Yes, Lord. Everyone else was scared to come outside, come out the, the house. Yeah. But like his background. Him. Yeah. He went outside to see what was going on. My Lord. And by the grace of God, he was the only one that came out. My Lord. I was able to call the police and the paramedics. My Lord. See, I was shot by some Hispanic game breakers, but God used a Hispanic young man to come help me out. So that's how God works. God can see something that's messed up and turn it for his glory. Amen. He was an ex game banger, but God turned life around and, and threw him seeing that miracle, God saved his life. Amen. Amen. God Amen. Saved his life. Glory, 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 glory. Yes, Lord. This is even more amazing. My detective, the detective on the case came by, and I, I was a little leery about even going to court. Because I had a dream beforehand that I was up there, I was a preacher. And those three young men that shot me walked into the church and I did the altar call. And they got saved. So I had a dream. And so, while I'm talking to the detective, the detective says, uh, Mr. Martin, this is amazing. We can't explain this because there's five cases tied out to that gun, tied on to that gun. He says, four, was, four, four were murdered, and only one was attempted murder. He says, you're the only person that survived that gun. We cannot explain this to this day. He says, but to God, be the, I told you, to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. See, God can do work miracles. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There's nothing yes. too hard for God. Not for me. Not My testimony could have been, God saved me, but I'm in a wheelchair. Or God saved me, but I'm messed up. But God saved me. I got a full hell. I can jump around. I can serve. Yeah. 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 Yeah.